Hi guys, welcome back. Today we we're going to look at the comment which you can find under the data prep tab and it's called shrink a wrap. Uh, so I have prepared here a couple of objects, a circle, a triangle and a kind of a square-ish type of object. The whole idea is uh, if I want to trace outline or inside so you click on the shrink wrap obviously it lets you select the layer the second option is maximum edge length which is uh, where you can specify the maximum triangle edge length allowed on the resulting line string so it can affect how it's gonna shrink wrap it the next one is to select object you have a tick box here if you want to track internal regions or track external so at, at this point our scale is 10 meters here at the bottom right so uh, maximum edge length is set to 100 so let's hit apply and as you can see it's beautifully traced the outer edge so let's try to do inside uh, inner edge so I'm going to leave it at 100 and I'm going to click inside. So as you can see, uh, the maximum edge length is too big. So let's go and scale that down to 10 and let's wrap it around. As you can see, it wrapped it up pretty nicely except this little edge. I want to take this two seconds here to remind you to subscribe to the channel. It helps with the uh, production of the other new videos thank you i'm just gonna measure this edge here it's about 8.7 meters so the 10 meter would be too much so if i go to 5 meters and i hit apply it did a nice uh, edge so if i take this one out and this one out now I have two line strings here. One is the outer edge, and then I have another line string which is the uh, in inner edge. Uh, where could I use that? Is uh, sometimes you are doing a takeoff, or and you need your area of interest. Uh, let's say a parking lot or something, and you already have uh, most line work there. So this way you can get it done fairly easy so hope you enjoyed it uh, we'll see you next one